with just two main ingredients, no cooking or churning. It doesn't get any easier or more magical than this. Hi guys, welcome to Gimme Lemons. I'm Annie and today we'll be making three amazing ice cream flavors. Classic cookies and cream, a Korean honeycomb candy called talgona, and lemon meringue pie. We'll start by making the super simple ice cream base. When you make this at home, I would first prepare all the add-ins ahead of time and then make the ice cream base. But for demonstration purposes, I'm going to prepare the base first and then the add-ins. Whip up 2 cups or 450 milliliters of cold heavy cream in a mixer on high. Since it's quite a bit of liquid, cover the mixer with a kitchen towel to protect yourself from splatters. This is wisdom I'm just passing down from personal experience. Peek in there once in a while to keep an eye on it, and when it starts to thicken, lower the speed to medium until it reaches stiff peaks. To this, we'll add the star ingredient, a can or 400 milliliters of sweetened condensed milk. This is the stuff that's not only going to sweeten, but also soften your ice cream. It's also the element that's going to give the ice cream that velvety smooth texture. I'm adding 1 8 teaspoon of salt because salt enhances all sweet things. And here I have a vanilla powder since vanilla extract's kind of hard to come by where I live. But if you have vanilla extract, add 1 teaspoon. Now give this a whirl on medium low speed. The mixture will look stiff at the beginning and then smooth out when all the condensed milk is incorporated. And believe it or not, that's it. If you love vanilla ice cream, just freeze this in containers and you've got yourself some seriously good vanilla ice cream. But today, we'll divide it up into three of our very special flavors. We'll start with the classic cookies and cream. Here, I have six Oreo cookies with the cream removed because as a kid, I always hated how waxy it got when it was frozen. But if you're absolutely appalled by this, you're welcome to keep them in. Break up the cookies, with or without the cream, into big chunky pieces that you can later dig out like treasures. Since the base recipe makes three equal pints, I'll measure out a third of the base mixture, about 283 grams or two cups, into a medium bowl. Then carefully fold in the cookies. Pour this mixture into a container of choice and into the freezer for a minimum of four hours. Let's move on to the talgona. A little while ago, I made a vlog featuring talgona as it was sold as street food in Korea, so be sure to check it out via the link in the description below. To make a big batch for the ice cream, pour a quarter cup or 50 grams of sugar into a heap in a small pan. Melt the sugar over medium low heat, occasionally giving the pan a swirl to keep from burning. When most of the sugar crystals have melted, turn off the heat and quickly add half a teaspoon or 4 grams of baking soda. Give it a vigorous stir so all the baking soda is incorporated and you'll see it turn golden and puff up like magic. When the candy is completely cooled, measure out 3 quarter cups or 40 grams for the ice cream. And resist the urge to eat them all, your teeth will thank you for it. Break the dagona up into semi-smallish pieces. Measure out 283 grams of your ice cream base. Add the dalgona and gingerly fold it in. I'm actually most excited about this one because the flavor is going to be one of a kind. Now last but not least, lemon meringue pie. We usually have a batch of lemon curd on hand since our kids love it so much. You can find my lemon curd recipe in the link above or in the description below. Measure out half a cup or 130 grams of the curd. And I have some store-bought oat cookies here, which I'll break up into relatively small crumbs. You can use graham crackers or digestive cookies as well, whatever is available to you. What's left of the ice cream base should be about 283 grams, and to this we'll add our lemon curd and fold that in. I got a bit over-enthusiastic with the folding here, but I recommend you leave some streaks in there to add contrast. Add the cookies, fold, fill, and freeze. After about an hour, line the ice creams with a piece of parchment or wax paper to keep ice crystals from forming. Now it's time to do a quality check before the kids come home. Yep, quality check. And ta-da! Ooh, nice! We have big chunks of cookie treasure spaced out between perfectly smooth, velvety ice cream. Look at that, it's perfect. And now the talgona reveal. Oh wow, the talgona looks like little jewels. 
It gives the ice cream a beautiful color and has a caramel slash roasted coffee flavor. At last, we have our lemon meringue pie. It's the hardest in texture for some reason, and apparently it's the hardest to eat. Doesn't want to be eaten. Okay, there we go. This one's probably the most special of all the flavors, especially if you're a big fan of lemons like me. In fact, all three flavors are out of this world, and now I'm going to serve them up for the kids to enjoy. I really hope you'll give these recipes a try and let me know how they turn out. Thanks so much for watching today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and post any questions or comments below. Take care and see you in the next video.